I'm glad that throughout this pandemic, all of my students' parents gave their full support. They didn't mind the online lessons as long as the children are continuing with the course. One of the changes is the involvement from parents. They were required to record the child's playing at home and send it for me to check with all these are extra work and effort from the parents and I'm really glad that the majority of them obliged to with this new practice. Parents were very encouraging and patient with the whole situation. They didn't give in to quitting, which I really appreciate. Yes, very much so. They had been longing to come back for physical lessons. There's so much they can do in our group lessons, like ensemble playing, singing together as a group, uh, doing the rhythm stepping together, making music with friends. It is so much fun doing all these subjects with their friends in class. Most of my students, especially for those who already have their vaccinations, have no problem coming back for physical lessons. In fact, they were really excited and looking forward to coming back to school. But for small children who have not received any vaccinations, a small number of them were reluctant to come back. As a teacher and a parent myself, I fully understand the worries behind this. Hence, I do not want to either insist or influence them to come back for physical lessons. So for some classes, hybrid lessons seemed to be the only choice that we have in order to keep the students in the course. I am so grateful as a Yamaha teacher that education has anticipated this and prepared us well in advance before physical lessons resumed. Forums regarding what tools to use for teaching, the SOP to follow, different teaching approaches that we can adapt were introduced. It was indeed a new challenge for all of us, but with the ideas and suggestions given during the forums have given me a lot of confidence to conduct hybrid lessons. Attack.